blunt. So some of the things that we will be needing is a bottle, some balloons, tape, um, some straws, a knife or some scissors and a glue gun. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the bottle and um, make a cut on cl closer to the bottom of the bottle and to take the bottom off. So. So now that the bottom is off, we're going to put this off to the side and get started with the straws. What we're going to do with the straws is we're going to take one, one of the straws and make um, a small slit in the side so that we can fit another straw in it. Okay, now that we have a cut in it, let's see if a straw fits inside. Now I'm going to put some tape on it so that it stays together and so that all the uh, gaps in it are airtight. Okay, now that I have it taped on, um, uh, let's get started on the balloons. So put one balloon on each um, branch of the straws and then tape that on too so that none of the air gets out. Now that the balloons are uh, taped on, we're going to put this to the side and bring the bottle back. So uh, let's take the cap off the bottle and put a hole in the center of the cap. So, so some ways you can do that is you can use a drill or um, something sharp to poke a hole. But what I'm going to do is I um, take this hot glue gun and because it's hot, it's going to me melt a hole in the middle. So. Now that the hole is made, I'm going to bring back the, um, the straws and the balloons and put this end of the straw back into the bottle through the uh, part at the top and pull it through until uh, the balloons are um, into the bottle. And then I'm going to take the cap and put the straw through the hole. Now that the, um, yeah, the balloons are in the bottle and it's screwed on, I'm going to take some hot glue and put it around uh, this part of the hole so that the air can escape from. So now what we're going to do is take another balloon and cut the bottom off of it um, so that I can fit around the bottom of the bottle. Now we're going to take the part of the balloon that's cut and wrap it around the bottom of the bottle. To make sure that it stays on and none of the air escapes, we're going to take some tape and wrap it around this part, but make sure it doesn't go too much onto the bottle so that we can still see the balloons inside. Let's see if it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this side and um, wrap our fingers around it so that um, it's tight and then pull it and push it back in and the balloons should expand and contract. Wow, it works. How are our lungs like the balloons in the bottle? Lungs are found in our chest and are made up of many parts that help our body breathe to get oxygen and get rid of impurities. We have two lungs that are pink in color, and though many pictures show them to be the same in size, our left lung is actually a little bit smaller than our right lung. This is to make sure there is space for our heart, which is found in the left side of our body. Lungs are like our body's heroes, with their own set of armor and a sidekick. Lungs have armor made up of 12 sets of ribs that form a rib cage. They protect your lungs and keep them safe. Beneath the lungs is their sidekick, which is called a diaphragm. This is a dome-shaped muscle 
that works with the lungs to help them expand and contract. Let's see where the air we breathe in goes from the time we breathe it in to the time we breathe out. When we breathe in with our mouth or nose, the air goes down to the trachea, which is often called the windpipe. The bottom of the trachea branches off into two large tubes. These tubes are called the main stem bronchi, and they connect to each of the lungs. Each bronchus branches off into smaller and thinner ones, like tree branches or plant roots. The smallest tubes are called bronchioles, that are about as thick as a, stra as a strand of hair. In each lung, we have about 30,000 of them. At the end of each bronchiole, there's a bunch of tiny little air sacs called alveoli. There are about 600 million alveoli in our lungs. Each alveolus has a small mesh covering made of blood vessels called capillaries. The alveoli are the parts of our lungs that send the oxygen to our cells. Oxygen passes through the walls of each alveolus into the capillaries. Through the capillaries, the oxygen reaches our blood cells to travel around our body. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens in the alveoli. There, the blood picks up oxygen and lets go of carbon dioxide. Now it's time to breathe out. The carbon dioxide travels back up through the bronchioles, bronchi, trachea, and through our mouth or nose. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you'd like to know every time I upload a new video, um, turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching!